Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we never forget a face. I'm your host E, and today, the devil's in the details. But first, a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's books, so if you haven't read all of them, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we are talking about Needful Things by Stephen King. Right off the bat, I want to discuss the items in Leland Gaunt's shop, Needful Things. Leland Gaunt himself refers to the items in the shop as gray things. And if you've watched my other theory videos, you know that I believe that anything with gray in its title is a demon from the prim. You have Pennywise who introduces himself to uh, Georgie Denbro as Mr. Bob Gray. You have the Greys in the Tommyknockers, you have the Greys in Dreamcatcher, and you also have the Grey from the short story Grey Matter in Night Ship. I also believe that Leland Gaunt is a demon from the Prim, just like Pennywise, just like the Outsider, and possibly even like Elvid from his novella Fair Extension. I, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about Leland Gaunt and Elvid being the same entity. Now we move on to how this fits into the entirety of the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower by way of locations and characters. There is mentions of Castle Rock, of course, because Needful Things was supposed to be the final Castle Rock story. It, of course, wasn't, but that's how he subtitled it. As for characters, we have Pop and Ace Merrill from uh, The Body, from the Sun Dog. Then we have Evie Chalmers, who is mentioned throughout the Stephen King universe. We have Thaddeus Beaumont, who we will talk about again in a little bit. Uh, he's very important to the Stephen King universe. And finally, we have the sheriffs of Castle Rock. The deceased George Bannerman is mentioned. He died in Cujo. And of course, Alan Pangborn, who is one of the main characters with this one. He is the sheriff that took over for George Bannerman. Now, a little bit more on Thaddeus Beaumont. Thad Beaumont is a very unique character in the Stephen King universe because even more so than Pop and Ace Merrill, he is mentioned numerous times in other books. Uh, he is mentioned, of course, he's a main character of the Dark Half, but he's also mentioned in Needful Things, uh, The Sun Dog, and his final mention, not appearance, he's not in those other books other than the Dark Half, his final mention is in Bag of Bones. He is the only character in the Stephen King universe where you have to read other books to find out their final fate. Why Thaddeus Beaumont is so unique in the Stephen King universe, I have no idea. Maybe Stephen King fell in love with him because the dark half was so close to his heart, it being an allegory for his time writing as Richard Bachman. Now we're moving on to a comment that was left that I wanted to point out because it backs up someone else had the idea that Leland Gaunt is more like the creature from The Outsider. Many thanks to Spencer for this comment, which really piqued my interest. I, of course, didn't read The Outsider until well after the original video was shot, and this comment came, of course, later on after The Outsider had come out, so I appreciate you mentioning this, Spencer. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything, if you would like to correct anything I said in this video, or if you have theories of your own, please leave them down there in the comments section. But until next time, you've been here before. Sure. Sure you have. I never forget a face. I'll hail the chair.